Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use with CTEs, also known as common table expressions in SQL, through three different query examples. Now, I first got exposed to these through a medium leak code database question. I solved this through a bunch of different sub queries. However, there was a much easier, simpler solution by using a with statement. And ever since I saw that, I knew I had to use this in my SQL arsenal. I'm going to jump on my computer right now and let's go over the first query. So for these three queries, we're going to be using a table called Billy Strings Tour. Billy Strings is a bluegrass artist that I listen to all the time. Here's the columns on these tables. We have a concert num, which is going to be a primary key. There's only going to be one concert num for a specific concert. Then we have the venue where the concert took place at, the city, and also the state, the capacity of the specific venue, the tickets sold that night, and songs played. And these are all made up numbers between capacity, tickets sold, and songs played. So for the first query, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the venue and songs played where 95% of the concert tickets were sold. So here's how you can build out your first with statement. So pretty basic on this example. So we're going to start off with with. We're going to have it as percent sold as. And then we're going to open it up just like this. Now inside over here is where you're going to be putting your select statement. So just like if you're running a normal SQL query. So what we're trying to do is find out the specific concert number and also this division between tickets sold and capacity. So we're going to do select concert num. And we're going to do a division. So tickets sold divided by capacity from, and then we're going to have Billy Strings Tour, just like this. Now I do want to work on this division a little bit over here, and we're going to do a few special things. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is take 100.00 times this. We're going to do a cast. But as floats, and what we're going to do on this outside is we're going to do round, and we're going to do two. So what this is going to do is round this the two decimal points, and that way it looks a lot cleaner. So if I run this over here, which all you have to do is select all this and click execute, you can see the concert number and then this. But we don't have a column name associated with this, so I'm going to just gonna put over here as concert percent sold. And now what we're going to do is do our normal query. So we're going to have a select statement over here and we need to grab the specific venue and songs played. So let's go back to this Billy strings tour. So we're going to grab the column over here, select venue. And we're also going to select songs played. And just to show you guys this works specifically, we're also going to choose this right here, which is concert percent sold. We're going to go from, and we're going to grab Billy Strings Tour. We're going to join on this with statement over here. So percent sold on, and we're going to do percent sold dot concert num equals Billy Strings Tour dot concert num and we're going to put over here concert greater than 95. So just like that, no, we're getting some errors over here, but this is going to work properly. So select all of this over here and there we go. So we have this music center that had 33 songs played, 97.14. Lander Center, 27 songs played, 97.56. And Key Bank State Theater had 23 songs played and also 100. This first one working, let's just comment all of this out. So easy enough, just like that. And we are on number two. So this time we're going to be looking at uh, venues that have sold above average. So what we're going to do is with average sales, as, and we're going to open this one up, and we're going to go over here as select average ticket sales. I think that was the column name, but we'll go back and just grab this select star. So tickets sold. I'm sorry about that. Tickets sold from the strings tour. 
So just to show you this works. So the average per night is 4140, which is great. Before we grab the select statement over here, I should name this as well. So we're gonna just say average ticket sales. And now we can go over here to this select statement. So select, and we're gonna grab the same as above. So venue songs played. We're also gonna grab this tickets sold. So we'll grab that over here. We're gonna grab from Billy Strings Tour. And now we're gonna join to this with statement. So join average sales on and we're looking for tickets sold need to be greater than this average ticket sales. Drop that over here. And looking for everything that's above 4140. And you can see that we had four results, 4,500, 73, 51, and 9,000. You can see the total amount of the songs played. And just to double check our work, if we go back over here, get anything over 4140. So we have one, two, three, we have Four, and everything else was a lot lower. And then going back down over here again, one, two, three, and four. So that is working nicely. Let's move on to the third query. And this time we're gonna use actually two with statements before we get into the select. So what we're trying to do is find the states where the total songs are more than the average songs of all the concerts. So what I'm trying to explain over here is we're gonna take a look at the state by state level and see which state has a higher average than others. So for example, Florida's two concerts, we have 24 and 31 songs that were played. Ohio over here has three concerts. South Carolina has a few as well, and Alabama has two or so. So what we're gonna try to do is find the average songs played per state, and then compare that to the average in general of each of the different states. And then we're just gonna show those later on. So uh, we're gonna start off with this first width. So we're gonna do width state average like that. As and we're going to open this up. We're going to grab our select statement. So select states, and we're also going to grab average. And we're going to do songs played. If I can spell that correctly, from Billy Strings Tour, and then also, before I forget, we'll pop this one as songs played, and then we're going to do a group by, and we're going to group by state just to show you how this one works. We're gonna grab that. And you can see we have five distinct states within this table. And then this is the average that was played every single night, which is great. Now we needed to go one step farther. So we need to find the average of these specific states. So with this over here, we're gonna have states average total like this, we're gonna do as and open this up. Other thing I forgot to mention is right over here, let's put a comma. So that way we don't have an error message that shows up. So we're gonna select the average and then songs played like that. And then we're gonna do from state average. So what this is doing now is we're finding the average from these over here and it's gonna calculate that. So now that we have both of these, we can build out our last statement, which you guys will see shortly. So select, and we're gonna grab the states. So states, and we're gonna grab songs played from, and we're gonna grab this one over here, which is state average. Now we're gonna join this second with statement over here. So join state average there on. And then we need to have songs played is greater than this column, which I did not name. So total states average Let's grab that there, just like that. And then we should be good to go. So let's grab that over here. And then you can see Alabama has 31 and South Carolina has 29, which if we go back over here, you can see 31 and 29 are the highest. So that means our average is probably around 28 or so. So if you guys got the concept of with CTEs in SQL, if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be uploading a ton more SQL videos and also data analytics videos here on the channel every single week. I'll catch you guys in another video.